I'm Dr. Marshall Packard, the Medical Director at the Hyperbaric Medicine and Wound Care Center here at the Nix Hospital. If you're a diabetic and if you have an ulcer, you're at high risk for having serious complications and of, un of needing major surgery uh, and you know, depending on where the ulcer is, if it's on your foot, then you're in danger of losing a toe or part of the foot or even the whole foot in some cases. Um, diabetic foot ulcers are an especially big problem here in this town. What hyperbaric oxygen therapy does is it helps wounds that live in an environment with low oxygen get more oxygen therapy to that wound that is in a low oxygen state. Another way to say it is if a wound has poor small vessel disease, so the tiny little capillaries that are feeding that wound with oxygen and nutrients, if those capillaries are shriveled up and small, then they're not delivering the nutrients and the oxygen that wound needs to heal. What hyperbaric oxygen therapy does is spawns new growth of new little vessels and capillaries of new blood vessels that, that nourish the wound and oxygenate that wound. Usually after about 20 treatments, you can see um, a difference in, in the wound response. So for those wounds that live in a low oxygen state, those are the ones that benefit from hyperbaric oxygen therapy. If you have a wound, uh, especially on a lower extremity, and it hasn't healed, and you've been trying through whatever means with home health or with your doctor, and it's been two weeks, four weeks, that's the time you really should think about getting some advanced treatments and really talk to your doctor about going to a wound care and hyperbaric medicine center where we can provide the advanced modalities. Doing so can really make a change. It can make your wound heal faster. It can keep you out of the hospital and in whole cases and ultimately save your limb.